The motion by an achievement account MP, Kafelo Sechitoleko, seeking leave of parliament to allow him to table the controversial age limit bill last week was met with fierce opposition from across the political divide, including observers of Uganda's political trends. While addressing journalists at parliament today, the former ethics and integrity minister, Dr. Jameson Sababturo, sees the move as a joke and a catalyst to more political problems. It's a Pandora box. If you open up for judges, teachers are listening, they are going to say, what about us? And the other ones are going to say, what about us? What? It becomes a difficult situation. I do feel that we should live. Uh, it's, it's not the time for that debate. The bill, among others, intends to extend the retirement age of judges and judicial officers by five years, open the restricted two-term tenure of the Electoral Commission, and allow non-presidential candidates a chance to challenge election results in the Supreme Court. The other amendments in the bill seek to clearly separate the powers and roles of the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of Parliament, as well as creation of an independent office of the Deputy, Anthony Geno. Sababutulo, who is the Bufumbila County MP, warns that if Parliament clears this amendment, then all government institutions would choose to go by it, a move that will clog and ice the system, hence poor service delivery. You, you clog the system and, and that creates instability, uh, which clearly is not going to be in our interest. I know there is value in having people who are elderly, there is, uh, there is a huge part they play, but when you universalize it, uh, you, you cause uh, uh, problems because the passage up is going to be uh, closed to people and that may res- bring about resentment. It's not good. Last week, Nakaseke South MP Luta Maguzesemakula said the bill is a precursor to amending the constitution to remove the age limit clause to allow President Yoru Museveni, who is soon clocking 75 years of age, seek re-election. The former ethics minister also spoke out against the introduction of sexuality education in schools to empower children with information on body changes during adolescence, emotional changes, sexual mutilation and relationships. But Butulo, like many campaigners, thinks the spirit behind this type of curriculum is not with good intentions as it fronts homosexuality and lesbian practices. To unambiguously oppose ongoing homosexualization of this nation, that is a major project by these forces of homosexualizing the nation. It's essential that uh, attempts being made must be fearlessly opposed by all lovers uh, of this country. In collaboration with Schoolnet Uganda, for example, portrays homosexuality and must be... <clears throat> The comprehensive sexuality education curriculum developed by Butterfly Works and the World Population Foundation in collaboration with Schoolnet Uganda, for example, portrays homosexuality and masturbation as fulfillment sexual attributes among people who have consented and one who have controlling unwanted teenage pregnancies and early marriages. Just Dan Lukema, WBS TV, Parliament.